I said that John Mun used to start every day with thoughts of goodwill as soon as he woke up. Spread goodwill in all directions. After his nap, he would spread goodwill in all directions before going to sleep. He spread goodwill in all directions. It creates the framework for our practice. Goodwill is a wish for true happiness. We want happiness that's solid and blameless. We want to keep that point in mind because there's so many other things that would pull us away from the practice, other kinds of pleasures. But not nearly as solid or as blameless as the pleasure, the happiness that comes from practicing the Dharma. So you want to keep your standards high. The Buddha says you take yourself as your governing pr principle, which means that when you think about leaving the practice or lack, getting slack, you remind yourself the whole reason I came here is because I'm looking for true happiness, putting it, putting it into suffering. Have I given up on that idea? And that should get you back on, on track. And you realize that a happiness that's blameless means doesn't conflict with anyone else's true happiness. That's why you spread goodwill not only to yourself, but also to all beings around you. And whether they receive that goodwill, that has a lot to do with their receiver. You're like the transmitter sending out goodwill. If your mind is still and quiet, okay, you send out a strong signal. But sometimes they've got their radios turned off, or else the radio isn't working very well. That's nothing you can control, but you can control the nature of the signal you send out. And remember that you're the primary beneficiary here. Because if you act on goodwill with other beings, okay, you're creating good karma for yourself. Again, sometimes they don't perceive that as goodwill, they perceive it as something else. As long as you're sure in your intention, what you're doing is something good. And then when you act on goodwill, you're creating good karma, putting good energy into the world. Whether the people who are the immediate recipients can sense that or not, other people will see it. Some people will take it as a good example. We need more good examples in the world. The media keeps bombarding us with all kinds of bad examples. So we have to be extra careful to create good examples in our own lives. So make this the framework for your meditation every day, their practice every day. And you'll find, you'll find that it gives you more energy to stick with the practice and to be very meticulous in carrying it through.